Hello, in this week's video we're looking at real-time board. So it's, what is it? Well, it's a collaborative space that allows you to do a whole wide range of features. As you can see in the bottom left-hand corner, it's available as an app on Apple, Android and Windows. You can log in with uh, social media channels or your email. And there is a free version which limits you to three people per board or you can pay for richer features if you wish but I'm just going to use the free version so to create a board you click on the plus I've got one that's already created so I'm going to open that one up just take a, a few seconds to load up so let's start down the left hand side I can use the hand to maneuver around my board I can go full screen if I wish I can add frames if I want to collect uh, bring together selections of, of, of stuff and organize stuff within that space. I can add comments. I can use the pen tool. I can add lines to join stuff up. I can create shapes, add sticky notes, text, and select different elements. And I can also, by clicking on the plus, I can add stuff. So let's have a look at what we can add. So if we click on the plus, you can upload stuff. So we click upload and it will allow you to add stuff. So what have I got on my desktop? Not a lot at the moment, but let's find something which we can add. So we'll find an image. So I could open up an image and upload that and that will just take a, a couple of uh, seconds to upload. Whilst that's doing that, some of the other things you can do, uh, and a feature I find really nice is the capture the web so I can click on that and put in a URL and there's my image it's been uploaded um, so that's going to capture the web so I can put in a website click capture the web and again it will go and find an image from that web page the first web page address and add that to the site other things you can do is you can add links, you can paste in embed codes, you can see I've now added that image and what I can do is I can crop that image and just by dragging that to where I want it. I can then zoom out using my mouse and get the crop just as I like it. And then having cropped it, I can click on it again and I can make it smaller. I can then maneuver that around my board. You see the options, I've got various things I can do. So I can arrange it, bring forward and send back to arrange the icons and the items that I've got on there. The post-it notes, I can type into that post-it note. I can change the color of the text. I can alter the font and the alignment and I can insert a link. So that's nice and easy to use. We've also got integration with some of these things that you can see there. There are a number of templates available if you've got a particular function, so if you're looking for a flow chart or a Venn diagram or just brain writing, then you can you can apply those particular templates to your work as well. But it's a great way of pulling together ideas, and the great thing is, just like a Google Doc, you can share it. So you can click on the share icon and you can share it with specific people or you can post it anyone with the link can view. Um, just as with a Google Doc, you can choose whether it's edit, comment or view. And one really neat feature is the wireframe feature. So if you're looking at mocking up, maybe it's an app that you've mocked up or a website, you can add the wireframe of the browser just so you, you can show uh, maybe a client what the finished item will look like. So there it is, great collaborative space, great way of compiling ideas. I could see students using it as a way of 
creating visual mood boards or brainstorming a project, adding all of their research in a really lovely visual format. So there you have it, real-time board. Hope you found that useful. I'm going to, I'm going to come back and delve in in more depth in a later video, but hope that gives you a, a fair understanding of what it does. And join me again soon. And remember, if you like the video, please share it and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.